I was 38 years old when I had a Widowmaker heart attack. Um, stopped me dead in my tracks. Literally. Literally. My name is Michael Daniels. Uh, I'm a land surveyor. I own my own business here in Jonesboro. I've been doing this for over 20 years now, but we've come up on, you know, compounds where people live, have no access to the outside world. We've come up on any, anything you can think of, we've probably come across it. Each state's a little different, but in Arkansas, uh, when they when the general land office originally surveyed Arkansas, they surveyed it off in one mile squares and put a post every half mile. Then they would have marked three or four trees, what they call witness trees, in the vicinity uh, to witness that point. There are some pretty wild spots out there that, that people, a person that hasn't been in, in maybe ever. Uh, but that's the fun of it too. It's, it's exploring, you know. I think back to a job that we worked on, um, that I worked on by myself just a few months before where we were miles from any, anything, any person, any road. Uh, through the swamps on the state line of Arkansas and Louisiana. And, you know, if that would have happened to me then, you know, I, I would have never even been found, so. There was a few minutes there uh, that I was gone. I coded. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know how long that was. It was long enough for uh, the uh, room to go from just me and my wife to probably 10 nurses and doctors in there. For a few weeks before the uh, heart attack, I was having what I thought was some fairly severe uh, heartburn. It was just an enormous pressure that was building in my chest. It was like a, uh, almost like a balloon that was in my chest that just kept getting larger and larger and to the point I couldn't, I couldn't stand it, that I knew something was wrong. My wife was concerned enough about it that she asked if we thought we needed to go to the emergency room and I said, yes because it was just unbearable pain. I wasn't concerned, I just had a lot of pain. You know, the last thing I said to my wife before I had the heart attack was, what's my uh, blood pressure? Uh, and she told me and I said, wow, that was it. I went into cardiac arrest after that. I didn't really understand what had happened until they wheeled me back to the uh, cath lab. And the uh, cardiologist leaned over and told me, uh, you're having a serious heart attack. Um, you know, we've got to act quickly. You know, in a matter of minutes, I was having stents put in. Had I not been at the hospital, I would have been, I would be dead. That's a hard thing for me to think about. Um, you know, my children growing up without me and my wife without me. Um, something I don't want to think about. I owe my life to St. Bernard's. Without the, you know, the care I got at the emergency room all the way through rehab, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today. They would have marked three or four trees, what they call witness trees, in the vicinity uh, to witness that point.